In this video, we're revealing seven digital nomad jobs to try this year and how these jobs literally earn people $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out now. So you might not be able to tell because it literally just looks like a plain background and I don't have like a flower in my ear or a coconut or my shirt's not off like it was in the previous YouTube videos when I used to make you know travel digital nomad vlogs. But I literally live here in Bali, right? And Bali is really interesting because it's literally one of like the digital nomad capitals in the world where you literally see people with their smoothie bowls in you know like a cafe working online with like the roost desktop and just kind of like doing this all days and they don't realize that they're at the beach. It's a very interesting place, right? Beautiful place, I love it. And there's a lot of people that are of course are digital nomads because they make money online and they don't have to be in the confinements of their own world. They're literally like, they could, they could leave and go wherever they are. And I've interviewed a lot of them. Like seriously, like many of them here in Bali that make a bunch of money online. Like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million. This guy that makes a million dollars per month profit. You know, this man that raised his 12 year old daughter to think like a millionaire. This woman who managed a billion bucks at 22 years old. You know, like Mike Chang, six pack shortcuts guy, remember him? Even like the guy that made like millions like selling weird e-commerce products. We have a bunch of different podcasts here of people that are digital nomads that make a bunch of money online, seriously, right? And, and with all the ones that I've seen and met, in like literally nearly half a decade of me being a digital nomad, traveling to all these digital nomads hubs around the world. There's certain digital nomad jobs that are just kind of consistent. And if you literally pick any one of these, they're almost a no brainer. So let's actually break them down from like lowest income to higher income to even the highest of highest income and let's break it down in the brackets, okay? So the first level that I see mostly are just graphic designers, right? People that are artistic, that are creative, that are good at Photoshop and whatnot, and they have like this creative eye. They have like those glasses and like very bougie, hipstery kind of like vibes, right? Graphic designers. Graphic designers uh, make pretty good money because of the fact that there's businesses and products that need design for maybe their website. So that might be like a higher level graphic design or maybe their products, right? Which might be a lower graphic design like income potential because of the fact that uh, what's called like there's crazy competition. But graphic design in general, if you enjoy photography or you, you enjoy like for example, you know, like Photoshop, if you are good at Photoshop or you wanna get good at Photoshop, graphic designers make decent money. They just go to Upwork and they get graphic design jobs literally from Upwork, right? Uh, my sister just got like a graphic design client from here. And you can see, look at this, from Mexico, $21 an hour, 2K. You can see this one, $44 an hour from Sri Lanka, right? You can see this one from Armenia, $50 an hour, 70K, right? So you can see that these graphic designers, okay, Pakistan, $10 an hour, right? And then Macedonia, $32 an hour. It's a good place to get started with, you know, a digital nomad job, right? Now, the second step that I started realizing from graphic designer are people that are like into photography, right? Or video editing, right? Photography is like interesting in video editing because they could be, they could transcend to the influencer stage, but in this stage, it's more so like dealing with clients, okay? Now, remember, you don't need some crazy epic business to go ahead and for example, uh, make money with a digital nomad job. Sometimes the best digital nomad job is doing a service for an existing business. Because if you think about it, it's not risky. You get to travel with really amazing people. And you know, like some of the best people that I know are literally groups of entrepreneurs. You have like, for example, the graphic designer, the video, the photographer, the influencer, the media buyer, someone that runs ads, the drops for all of those things. And they all like hang out and just travel. And it's just like the most funnest thing ever, right? But you know, that would be like said the photographer. So let's actually see how much a photographer can make. Photographer. Now the crazy thing about photographers is they might not like, look at this, $150 an hour, 20K earned, $250 an hour, 100K earned. These photographers are more so, for example, product photography, right? Now, product photography is very important because a lot of the other people that make a bunch of money online as little nomads are e-commerce people. And e-commerce people are willing to spend a lot of money for photography because it's for their brand and their products, right? So you could see that when people value a specific skill a lot, which could be like a typical graphic design job, but it's based off of something that will make them money, like directly, 
like photos will literally direct like directly make an e-commerce company money. You can see why it, it's worth like a lot. You know, the fourth way that people started making money is videography, right? And not just like videography, uh, but like I said, focus on products, right? Like anything related to products. Look at this, $250 an hour, 20K earned, $100 an hour, you know, 9K earned, $150 an hour, and you could see that it's literally for products that they go ahead and, for example, sell. And the coolest thing about this is, like I said, this is what you see a lot of people. Like, if you literally go into any cafe, I guarantee you, there's gonna be some that are at least graphic designers, there's gonna be some that are video guys, there's gonna be some that are like literally photographers, and those are kind of like the main, 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 uh, for example, digital nomad jobs that are at least learnable easily, easily. I'm not gonna go talk about like the coding and all that stuff, because for me, that's like complicated. Uh, so like I wouldn't be able to do that, but you know, from the past of what the skills that I learned, I was able to learn Photoshop pretty easily. I was able to learn video stuff pretty easily. Uh, I was willing and able to learn all of these things like pretty easily. So those are already three, uh, for example, like digital nomad jobs. Now, what is the fourth level that you really see? Like, and you see them all the time. They, they hang out in clusters uh, in like the, the co-working spots and it's e-commerce. Like you cannot literally throw a rock without actually having somebody like it hitting someone doing e-commerce. Now e-commerce can range, a lot of them do dropshipping, which essentially dropshipping is, is they find a platform, it could be their own like on Shopify or it could even be on eBay. Like look at this, all of these bunk beds that you see right here, all these bunk beds that I pull up right here, look at this. This one, 340 bucks, this one is 307 bucks, this one is for example, 362 bucks, two sold. Dropshipping is essentially selling products in one area and when you make a sale, you literally buy it at a cheaper place for cheaper and then you pocket the difference. Now, this is where I got started when I started making money on the fourth way of dropshipping because of the fact that I was like, man, it's almost like no risk, especially if you do like the eBay method. Now, granted, I only got it to the point where I was making 100 bucks a day and it was very erratic and up and down. The first three jobs are more stable because the risk is on the entrepreneur that goes ahead and builds this, right? But like, for example, graphic design, uh, photography, videography, those jobs are a lot more stable than the dropshipper. The dropshipper is really funny because you, you'll see them in the co-working space. Some days, they'll make a bunch of money. You'll see them when they make a bunch of money because then they're like partying like crazy. But of course, the only downside with dropshipping is that when the product goes out of style, you go into a drought. So it's, it's very feast and famine, feast and famine. Like I would make a bunch of money in dropshipping and then I would go over months when I'm not making any money. And that alone was like very scary, but it, it is, Kind of like also, fun. it's kind of like addicting, okay? That's why I stopped because it was a little bit too much addicting, okay? So the fifth step that people make a bunch of money here is, uh, for example, sales and high ticket selling. Now this is a very popular digital nomad job because the thing about being a digital nomad is you almost wanna get like the least amount of responsibility possible and have someone else do all the hard work, right? So how people go ahead and do that is people create these products. They're high ticket, so five grand and 10 grand. And what these people here are doing, they partner with those people and essentially close them on the phone. So there's some people that like only maybe work a couple hours a day. Uh, of course, it's like UK, US, Australian times, and they just get on the phone and close high ticket deals. And they could get anywhere from $500 to $2,000 per sale. So if they do like five sales a month, right, and someone else handles and sells, sends them the phone calls, they could potentially make six figures a year by just only working a couple hours a week, right? So you can see how lucrative it is, and to get those jobs, it's very simple. You literally just go to the ClickFunnels Facebook group, go into the search bar, and just type in high ticket closer. And there's all these people that are willing to pay, you know, 10 to 20% commissions. Look at this. Uh, our current closers earn anywhere from seven grand to $17,000 a month, working 40 to 50 hours from anywhere in the world, right? So you can see that this is a really, really, really good, you know, high ticket cl closing thing, right? Now, the sixth thing that you always see as a digital, like, no man is the influencer. Now, a lot of people don't actually like these influencers because they, like, always ask for free food at cafes. And I actually have a bunch of friends that, like, for example, are, like, like that own cafes and they're like, yeah, man, so many people just keep on asking for free food. And it's like these people that would take these typical pictures right here, or these pictures right here, or these pictures right here, right? Actually, I've been to this place, very interesting, right? <laughs> we were actually here just a couple of weeks ago, right? Um, it's, it's people that just take these pictures, right? A lot of people here, they don't really like these people. And it's like really hard, and you know, it gets pretty saturated, so I wouldn't actually recommend that, but that's how, some digital nomads make money, a lot of people don't actually like them, right? Now the seventh way is just having a high level service, which is like media buying. So these people run Facebook ads and YouTube ads and Google ads for clients, and they make a lot of money. Like if I go literally to here and I type in, for example, Google ads, 
Check this out. People that run Google ads, you can see, for example, like Steve made over $1 million just running Google ads for people, right? Look at this, $125 an hour. And the craziest thing is you can learn it for free. Like you can literally go and just go to, for example, uh, skillshop.withgoogle.com, click on Google ads, and you can literally get certified for free and learn like the basics of Google ads, right? And it's actually Google ads is what people in our community have used to go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks. But, but with this method, it's different than the client work because they don't have to deal with any clients. A lot of this is actually passive income and they don't need their own product. They don't need their own service. They don't need to do any shipping and handling or customer service like for example, the dropshipper. And it's one of the fastest ways to make you know money right now as a digital nomad. Like look at this, 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks. That's one, he was able to go ahead and do this that we interviewed on our podcast as well, as well as for example, Greg, who did it at 58 years old, guys. If you wanna know that brand new method, check it out in this week's free workshop below, as well as check out this video in this podcast right here. Hopefully this helps, I love you guys, see you guys later, woo!